Hey Collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a pick a card on what does your higher self want you to know or what does your higher self want you to know right now. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you for all of the continuous support towards the channel and myself. Thank you for all of the likes, the comments, the subscribes, the shares, um, booking or reading. I truly do appreciate it. Um, as well as if there's any information you'd like to know about booking or reading, all of that is in the description. But yes, I do love you all so dearly much. Let's get right into the reading. For palm number one, we have cellular upgrade as well as this garnet piece here. This is pile number one. As well, if you hear anything in the background, I do apologize. Pile number two will be mystery school, card number 28, with this citrine here. This is pile number two. Pile number three will be Stargate Initiation, card number 25, as well as this rainbow fluorite pendant here. This is pile number three. Pile number four is going to be Middle Earth Dragons card number 29 as well as this blue tiger's eye here I mean, you can barely see well you kind of can yeah this is blue tiger's eye and middle earth dragons for pile number four timestamps of course will be in the description or here on the screen I believe so i will definitely see you at your pile or piles you can definitely choose more than one here and alrighty, i'll see you there hey pile number one if you have chosen this cellular upgrade card number eight or this red garnet here it's really star garnet but you know if you have chosen any of these then this is your pile today for what does your higher self want you to know right now in these moments okay so we're gonna go ahead and tap into the energy I'm seeing a rabbit in my mind's eye. Something about that seems to be significant. I'm being drawn to mosaic energy. So that may be significant as well. I hope this music really isn't too loud. <laughs> it seems like it, but hmm. so there may be something about like your um audible abilities here, Paul number one. The card literally itself says cellular upgrade here. So if you were drawn to the card itself, then you are definitely undergoing this energy of a cellular upgrade in general here. I was also getting this energy of, um, those of my pawn number one, um, your higher self is connecting you to your past lives here. For some of you, there aren't that many people behind you or in your past life energy, but for others, there is like a multitude of past lives that I'm seeing here. On the card, it says, listen, step back and learn from your surroundings. So it's given a very analytical energy, Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy, Page of Swords energy. But it seems as though you're using your mind here is also something that I'm hearing 
found number one. This is what your higher self wants you to know right now. There's definitely this lightning bolt energy here on the card as well. So it's giving like this fast paced energy, maybe something unexpected here, unpredictable as well. But there's this instance of you getting some kind of major idea here or some kind of um, download. Whatever this energy is, is almost literally activating your cells here, awakening your cells. I'm also hearing from your higher self that this is happening for a reason literally higher than yourself here. I'm also hearing this is something that you can connect to, pile number one. The eight here is really taking me to an infinite energy, like all possibilities kind of energy. It's also drink. <laughs> Well, it's bringing me to strength and I almost said dream. So this could be coming through while you sleep is also something that I'm hearing. This energy of a cellular upgrade for you. Hmm. I was also drawn to. Wow, I'm being drawn to two different downloads here. Um, there's an energy of amethyst being significant. It's interesting how we were drawn to dreaming energy so maybe working with an amethyst while you are dreaming may also bring about this cellular upgrade for you this is what your higher self wants my pile number one is to know there's also an energy of probably sitting by a fire being near fire possibly even working with fire your strength your passions as well as what you are dedicated to seems to also be significant here pile number one Hmm. February may also be significant. Judgment energy. This is interesting because judgment um, recently has been coming through as an energy of a like um, cosmic upgrade here, a cosmic level up, some kind of energy of you rising to something here, answering some kind of call as well seems to be significant. I'm also hearing that probably even you come into this reading is you answering the call, which is interesting. But there's also another energy here. There's a lot of downloads here for you, Paul number one. And they're also coming through very seamless. So I feel like this is also an energy for you that either is occurring or will occur. Okay, I feel like we have a lot of cards here, so I don't want to sit on the downloaded energy for too long. But um, there was also another energy of your soul expanding here. Like your energy is reaching all four directions in some kind of way. North south east west maybe even um northeast northwest southwest southeast energy maybe that may be significant as well here but something about the compass something about literally listening learning from your surroundings here you know it's interesting there's a compass here <laughs> and i wasn't even looking in this direction i was really focused in the card here because this seems to be very significant for you. It's the fact that you are undergoing some kind of cellular upgrade or soon to undergo some kind of cellular upgrade here, pile number one. So let's go ahead and look into your cards here. We have Oracle here, some more Oracle, Oracle, you know, a lot of Oracle. Look, Grace was all over this table earlier. <laughs> Grace, my kitty, a little crazy self. She was all over there. Anyway. We have some more oracle and then we have some tarot here i believe it's only two cards and then another oracle and then here's some more tarot right here and then oracle to end it off so it's pretty hefty pretty hefty energy here mm. this reading is definitely timeless but the solar eclipse energy may be significant for you this could be happening around said time of a solar eclipse this energy of you coming into some kind of cellular upgrade here. Okay, let's delve further. We're gonna start here. So what is it that your higher self wants you to know, Paul number one? We have third eye chakra, pineal perspective. So it's interesting because even this is like kind of hitting the pineal of this lion here. Lions may be significant for you, or even Leo, Leo energy. The sun may also be significant. Interesting. I didn't even realize, but look at this. We have two eights here. <laughs> Your next card was eight, eighty-eight, or even eight, eight, eight. Maybe significant. I'm hearing the ascendant master is here. 
Let's look. Let's look into this energy. Two, two, two. Maybe significant. Maybe twenty two, twenty two, or four twos. That may be significant for you as well. Let's look at this eighty eight angel number. Um, a sign of great success, abundance, and prosperity. I was feeling those energies. When this number keeps appearing in your life, it indicates that exciting and positive changes are on the horizon. Your guardian angels or spirit guides are trying to prepare you for the wonderful opportunities that lie ahead. So, that's literally a thing here. <laughs> and I feel like you're getting, like, some kind of, like, this upgrade, this cellular upgrade here, as well as the energies that are coming into your pineal here pile number one they're all preparing you for these beautiful great successes that you are about to walk into literally that you are already pretty much in right now since you're in this preparation energy and you literally have your guardian angels your spirit guides your ancestors as well as your higher self yeah, i'm also i'm also hearing your aspects so everything is pretty much in um everything is around you all of these energies are online and consciously working towards this energy of bringing in your great success abundance and prosperity here many great opportunities lie ahead for you pile number one like literally you have cellular upgrade here and there are dna strands within this card so i don't want to say you can't make this up but they're literally putting these energies here there could also be significance here for your um something about neurons here as well as um electrons or something about that may be significant but it's here um i don't even know why i can't even think of the word your nervous system thank you spirit your nervous system seems to be getting some kind of upgrade here in some kind of way it's literally something about the electricity that runs through your vessel here that seems to be very significant maybe being outside helps brings about these energies more also working with pyramid energies seems to be significant because there's something about um something coming to a point here some kind of a powerful point maybe working with towers here maybe significant when it comes to crystals obelisk energy let's delve deeper look at this energy excuse me you have jupiter return here with benefits you could be literally right now going through a jupiter return has an energy here hmm. the blues are really standing out to me here as well 49 could be significant you could be 49 right now or you could be coming into the age of 49 hmm but literally the card here says benefits you don't have to be going through your J jupiter return here but literally there's an energy of you benefiting from something i'm being drawn to the listen step back and learn from your surroundings energy there may be something that is happening within your surroundings that could benefit you here literally especially with the pineal perspective they want you to be paying attention to something that may not have been for everyone here in pile number one but for someone they want you to literally pay attention to your surroundings there are benefits surrounding you i'm also hearing that there are messages from um <laughs> it's so funny i'm hearing the other side but the spiritual realm has some kind of messages for you pile number one that are within your surroundings so paying attention seems to definitely be significant here we have perpetual motion i love this energy it means that like things once things are started they won't stop it will perpetually keep moving forward here seems to be the energy i truly do apologize if anyone here hears anything in the background <sighs> 11 may also be significant here the ascendant master 11 may be significant a lot of the ascendant master energy is definitely here and present i say that because 38 and 49 are 11 away I'm being drawn to look into the angel number for 11. You are very protected here in pile number one. The angels almost seem to adore you. Can mean that it is time to find your true calling in life. There's something about your true calling. This could be the energy of what you are stepping into here. This could be what this cellular upgrade is bringing into your life. 
is something about your true calling here, something about your destiny as well. There's also an importance of letting go of negative connections here. Staying true to one's intuition and taking time out from busyness to be open to divine guidance and to reflect on pathways in life. So there's definitely an energy of one being like in a higher vibration here. 100% either that or like being guided to a higher vibration. I'm hearing one of receptivity as well. Pound number one. Very interesting energies here. I'm being drawn to like ship energy. So this could be like um, a voyage type of energy or this could literally be your Merkaba, your light body here being activated as well. Maybe there's also something about you using mind exercises to spin your Merkaba. This is some form of practice here. Be cautious when doing these energies for this is your energy. This is your aura here. This is something that I'm hearing from your higher self. I'm also hearing there are some of you that have already been doing this energy. Visual visualization is key. Is also something that I'm hearing here. Pile number one. Okay, I had to look up and make sure I was recording. Interesting. Um, what else do we have here? We have eternal union. New love is forming. This is what your higher self wants you to know right now. There's definitely some kind of connection either between another individual here or within yourself. Because you could have come into like some kind of um, energy here. I'm hearing epiphany kind of energy that has made you want to give yourself more love in some kind of way. I'm hearing it starts within. So possibly this is what you have been working towards. And now since you have kicked that into motion, it's perpetual now. So self-love is also something that I'm hearing. But this could literally be turning into an external love. It's Hmm. I'm also hearing 5D love, so there could be an energy of um, you experiencing this partnership within a higher dimension, and now it is going to be reflected here in the 3D. You could literally be getting some kind of download soon. The card itself literally says eternal union. So there's an energy of something literally being eternally brung together here let's delve deeper and see now we're going into tarot pile number one the color red is also something that may be significant here i'm being drawn to Pleiades energy i'm also being drawn to like red dot energy so there's also something about paying attention like i said earlier but it's also something about like um target acquired kind of energy like you know where you are going now then again that um, 11 master number energy was talking about true calling um, something about finding one's own true purpose here as well hmm. you are shining currently right now in the moment pile number one where there's an energy of your higher self wanting to know that you are going to shine soon like really soon I'm also hearing there are benefits to um, doing something here there may be benefits in listening and stepping back more so than taking action but we will see further what do we have here we have the man of painting which is the king of cups here some of you may be artists some of you may be drawn to um, do some kind of activity here that involves your creativity There's also something here about you being vulnerable within this energy, almost like you're being very authentic. You are allowing some of your, literally, maybe some of your emotions to be involved within this act of creativity here. I'm also hearing this energy of how the sun may be giving you inspiration soon for this energy. I'm also hearing focus on yourself here. Let's delve deeper. What do we have? <laughs> Two man energies. This is interesting. I could be talking to a man or I could be um this could be an energy here. We do have fire and water here, so this could be another energy that may be significant. 
I'm being drawn to steam. I'm also being drawn to obsidian. These could be, this could be a stone that you are working with here. I'm hearing calmer waters, but this card here itself says music as it exists in old tunes or melodies is inspiration. Interesting. And cannot be surpassed. It is perfect and eternal. Look, you have eternal here. And we were already speaking about things that maybe even bringing you more inspiration here, giving you some kind of jolt to life here. But it's interesting. Grounding may definitely be significant. Both of the male figures in this and the cards that have come through for you are barefoot here. There could also be signification of um, your higher self indicating that some of your past lives, literally I've said this before, they are coming online here, but there's an energy of something about these energies being beneficial to you. Like there may be, there may have been a past lifetime for some individuals in pile number one. Um, it is currently two, three, four on the clock, so this may be significant. Um, that have had some kind of past life dealing with music, and it seems to have been like very um, prosperous here, um, popular. It was well known. Something about pile number one's past lifetimes music, and this could even be the music of your soul because we all emit a certain frequency here. So this could be the energy of just that. And it seems as though this may have been something like an old soul energy. Very wise is also something that I'm hearing. A leadership quality to energy since this here is the king of wands energy. Hmm. Maybe your art was well known as well here in a past life. Something about these energies are coming online within your cellular energy. And it's because it doesn't have to necessarily be these energies, but know that there is something within all of my pile number one's energy of an upgrade from a past life into your current life now. And this seems to be bringing in benefits that will push you forward perpetually. <laughs> so let's delve deeper. What else do we have? Look at this. We have the divine matrix. I'm hearing in divine timing and divine ways as well here. Hmm. I'm also hearing that whenever you do see this energy of the flower of life, because that is what this energy is right here, possibly even the seed of life. Um, if you see these energies, they want you to know that you are on the right track here. So we have interconnectedness is what the card itself says. And we also have synchronicity here. Interconnectedness as well as synchronicity. You may have been really seeing a lot of synchronicities within these times right now. That just shows how connected you are. It shows like you're paying attention. You're learning from your surroundings with this energy when you come into these synchronicities. Because <clears throat> you really could have been seeing eights a lot here. Isn't that interesting? 88 or 11, like 11, 11 possibly as well. I just heard like car honks in the distance, so that could be significant as well. We have two final cards here, so let's delve deeper and see. This is another tarot card that we have. There's definitely a portal within your energies, and this is what your higher self wants you to know right now, pile number one. And this portal could literally be connecting you with um, alternate universes, um, another galaxy here possibly as well, because I was drawn to the stars here within this man's cloak. So this is also something that could be coming online for you within your cellular DNA is a past lifetime of how you've connected with or lived lifetimes in another galaxy. Something about this is beneficial for my pile number ones. Like the stars seem to really be significant here. Okay, let's delve deeper. We have discontent and boredom, which is interesting which is the Four of Cups. Huh. I'm being drawn to like how down here at the bottom, there's like a rainbow coming through from like the outer energies. 
it's making me think of how prisms like um how prisms operate is something about how your energy operates as well like when light comes through you pile number one there's an energy of how you can split that up into like what is it seven different facets of that light something about um people's true forms um come online when they come across your energy is also something that i'm hearing and i'm also hearing all pathways lead home something about that may be significant as well um there's something about turning your gaze within as well maybe you've turned your gaze within and now is the time for you to learn from your surroundings The color green it could also be significant here your heart chakra energy possibly this is an energy of them wanting you to literally be more receptive within the heart area opening up your heart interesting the um air freshener went off when i said opening up your heart here okay that's delve deep we're gonna get one more card here and then I might possibly pull it from my personal oracle deck because I feel drawn. We're going to look at the time here. Okay, we have 23. Let's actually look a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are definitely on the right track here as an energy. This is what your higher self wants you to know. Okay, what do we have? Ooh, we have church here. More rainbow energy is what I'm being drawn to. I'm also being drawn to how like the light is coming through. And I did say something about mosaic, didn't I? So this kind of energy may definitely be significant. What is it? Stained glass energy. Stained glass may definitely be significant here. We have spiritual sanctuary as well as sacred architecture. These things may definitely be significant. You could, um, your higher self could definitely be saying that you might be traveling or going to some kind of power spot here. Maybe even within your dreams. This is, seems to be significant. From this dream or from this energy of where you go within your dreams, um, you will be instilled with a higher vibrational energy here. These are things that I'm hearing from your higher self. Hmm. This could even be related to probably some kind of safe haven here for you. There's definitely spiritual abundance within your energy pile number one. So let's delve deep. Let's see. Pulling out my deck now. Let's see. What does your higher self want you to know? Pay attention to your surroundings. This is definitely something that I am hearing. Your surroundings definitely have some kind of answer for you right now, pile number one. These upgrades are very beneficial. They are almost necessary and a part of your destiny here. They may even be bringing you closer to this love for you because it seems right now this even could be your energy of being discontent and bored to where all of this is happening so that this can shift. You are very mature here is also something that I am hearing. Look at this. I said something about the stars. It says the stars, the sky, and the trees have a message for you. And I was kind of drawn to this greenery here. And it, that's literally a tree. But it says go outside, listen, and begin meditation. You literally have listen right here on this card. It says listen, step back, and learn from your surroundings. So definitely being outside is very significant for you, pound number one. Um, looking up into the sky, paying attention to the scars, literally communicating, like having a conversation with a tree, like get into it. <laughs> you can literally just ask the tree, hi, how are you? How's your day? And then keep it pushing or I hope your day is amazing. Like no one else has to hear that, but you and your higher self, spirit, source, God, the divine. But something about that energy seems to be significant here. So it says when times seem difficult, slow down and focus on your breathing. Interesting. It says take some time to chill here. As well as enlightenment, fire. Uh, didn't I say fire was significant? Did I say that? Hmm, yeah, I did. I said that. Yep. Fire may be significant for you. Like maybe even literally working with some kind of candle here. But we do have enlightenment on the card. 
even crossing sticks energy let's see it says authenticity and acceptance will allow you to move past certain blockages here and it says not all things happen in the ways we want just surrender you'll be fine so all of these energies may be significant for you when it comes to what your higher self wants you to know right now pile number one but i feel like this is all that i have for you i don't want to make these too long i hope that you enjoy and I hope that you find these energies to be very beneficial for you when it comes to the cellular upgrades you are undergoing right now and how spiritual this really is like you're literally upgrading here and this is beneficial to you okay okay be sure to give the video a like comment subscribe if you feel called to and share um, I love you dearly, dear beautiful soul, always. And I hope that you find these energies to be what you needed to hear from your higher self. Know that you are very protected. And you have this fire and um, authentic energy about you that allows you to even be prepared and ready to come into these benefits for yourself here. <sighs> the pineal is definitely um, important here. So take some time to chill because things are literally like you're going through a cellular upgrade here and your pineal is very active. So it's like you see things very clearly. It's giving high priestess energy. Okay, let me get out of here. <laughs> I love you. Hey, pile number two. If you have chosen card number 28, Mystery School, or this citrine here, then this is your reading for what does your higher self want you to know right now? Or just what does your higher self want you to know in general? Hmm. For you, pound number two, and those in pound number two. Oh. I'm hearing there's going to be a lot from your higher self. Okay. Um, when it comes to the downloaded energy that I was getting for you, pound number two. There was an energy of threes, maybe working or operating in threes. There may be um, three individuals within your energy currently right now, or um, you may possibly have to choose between three things here. There's something about your higher self. Um, wanting to know that you have some kind of connection here with um, Thoth of the Atlantean here. That is definitely significant for you. Um, you are definitely very wisdom oriented here. This is what your higher self wants you to know. Your wisdom is very enlightening here. Something about how um, certain energies that you do, you operate out of outside of the bounds of time. So something here seems to be perfectly fine. Something is a mystery as well. This is also something that I was getting here because we literally have mystery school. It says curiosity opens up advanced awareness. So there's definitely this energy of you being curious in some kind of way here. But when it comes to the three energy, like you may have literally been choosing between three different options here. And there's something about how the second option is very significant something about that second option is very significant there's also something about um the ties you have with certain individuals here that is very significant your left arm may be significant you may have some kind of tattoo on your left arm in relation to um ancient Kemet here ancient egypt you are very watched over is also something that i'm hearing from your higher self There's also an energy of you breaking out of some kind of mold here as well. Um, there was some kind of energy of the sun disk being relevant as well. Gemini energy may also be significant. We may have Gemini sun, moon rising within this energy. Or you could just have very strong placements within your Gemini. I mean, in the Gemini um part of your natal chart
there's also something here about abundance like um that is what i'm being told here from your higher self your higher self wants you to know about um something abundant something fruitful here something advanced is also something that i'm hearing mystery school literally your curiosity opens up to some kind of advanced awareness here so if you are curious about something your um higher self wants you to go towards that energy here pile number one may be significant for you pile number two i don't know how i keep doing that like i leave the crystal that was meant for the previous pile in the next pile like i don't get it <laughs> i don't get it i don't know why i do that um okay pile number two if you hear anything in the background i apologize oh <sighs> that's very interesting birds could definitely be significant here so paying attention to that energy i just heard a dog bark so that may be significant as well paying attention to dogs there may be also something here about loyalty now i'm hearing paying homage this is very interesting there could be um something here about your solar plexus chakra energy it may be overactive this is something that I'm hearing from your higher self. Balancing out that energy may be significant here. Exercises, re exercises revolving around your solar plexus energy. I'm also hearing to pay attention to the things that you indulge in, the things that you eat, or something about that that is significant here. Uh, uh, I don't know something about your cheek seems to be significant like I don't know this could be literally your booty cheek like <laughs> or this could be like your face cheek I'm not sure <laughs> but there's something about your physical vessel here being curious about your physical vessel um, opens up advanced awareness being curious within energy within anything really it could even be literally um, Atlantis it could even be anything here whatever it is you are curious about there's something about that indulging yourself within that energy um maybe even taking a chance on something here so that you can come into some kind of energy some kind of higher vibrational energy some kind of enlightenment here so let's actually see we have some oracle this is what we're going to start off with and then we're going to start off with some, start off we're going to go into some more oracle here um oracle oracle and then we're going to go into tarot and then some more oracle and then like another tarot card and we're going to finish it off with an oracle just want to show you all the cards so that you can get the energy and as well so that they can understand that your energy is a part of this as well so let's see what does your higher self want you to know right now pile number two what is the message from your higher self so we have soul star chakra here merging with the divine card number 10 very interesting energies here i'm hearing you are being given some kind of energy like you are being given some kind of download here and this could be coming from the stars themselves but your soul star chakra here i believe this chakra sits above your crown chakra but i don't want to be too illiterate here but definitely It definitely says merging with the divine. This is something that your higher self wants you to know. You are literally in process of this energy. But I can definitely see how your soul star chakra is being highlighted here. Something about maybe you being curious about your chakra systems and actually indulging in what information that has to give you so that you can understand that, yeah, there are more chakras that lie outside of the body here. Your throat chakra literally your crown chakra and your root chakra could also be significant and i did say solar plexus so it's really kind of given like a full system upgrade here is what i'm being drawn to hmm. like the colors within this soul star chakra card are very um they seem important here from your higher soul maybe even this card itself is um activating this soul star chakra here for you 
your curiosity is very like um that's what's being highlighted here and like your curiosity into something and this is what your higher self wants you to know about so let's delve deeper what do we have Ooh, we have 10 11 here so this is card number 10 and then we have 11 so i'm getting progressive energy here i'm also being drawn to 111 amplified by a zero so this could be another energy that is resonant for you you're coming into some new beginnings here that are being amplified maybe by your own curiosity here because this is advancing your awareness you being even more curious in whatever this energy is and is a part of your path here it is a part of what it is that you are meant to do is also something that i'm hearing zeus may be significant here greek mythology may also be significant lightning or thunder unexpected energy here and i did say something about looking into your natal chart and i did say something about the energy of gemini so possibly your pluto may be in gemini this may not resonate for everyone here but that is an energy that is coming through you literally have merging with the divine as well as transformation here I'm being drawn to ask, who are you transforming into pound number two? Because you're merging with the divine here. It seems like your energy is going to be very different now. It seems as though you're coming into a more advanced energy here, pound number two. It's like you're learning more about either yourself or literally what's around you. You're being more curious here. You have a curious mind. It's giving page energy. Hmm. But you're very aware here so let's see we have the solar plexus you can't make this up here there's definitely a um there is some kind of energy dwelling within your solar plexus chakra that is like um it's not bubbling up but it's like there's some kind of fruit within your solar plexus chakra here like that is ready to be given birth like it it feels like there's some kind of possibly emotion here or there's possibly some kind of energy that you want to delve deeper into something that you want to do here and it seems like that energy is being dwelt up within your solar plexus and the moment that you do it the moment that you allow your curiosity to open up and just you go and do it i feel like that's that energy of you giving birth that's the energy of um you releasing whatever this is that's why i felt like it was overactive it felt like there's an energy that wants to come through here through you from you from your higher soul this is like a very awakening moment here from your higher soul this is something that i'm hearing pluto could definitely have some kind of play within this energy here did Pluto just go direct? This is also something that I'm hearing, something that I'm being drawn to. If it didn't, I'm not sure. Okay, this is a timeless reading. But um, Pluto is definitely significant. If you've been seeing 111, this is definitely something about how this energy is very prominent within that energy. Whenever you do see 111, there's an energy of them wanting you to open up your curiosity, merge with the divine here allow yourself to um express yourself here <clears throat> okay let's delve deeper what do we have Ooh, see you can't make this up card number 16 expansion Ed educate your mind and senses is what this card says and that is the energy of like opening up your curiosity here literally allowing your awareness to be within something that allows you to expand here whatever it is it's going to make you merge with the divine here this could really be research because i'm being drawn to how thoughts energy may really be within my pile number two is energy and it's really this writing like now i'm being drawn to my energy as well so that may be significant um but writing something here um having notes some kind of journal there's something about doing research like it's literally an energy of educating your mind and your senses and this is what your higher self wants you to know right now maybe through whatever kind of information you get it allows you to 
merge with the divine and transform and expand here and it seems as though you have the energy within you for what it is that you know that you want to delve into with this solar plexus chakra here showing up is giving me an energy of i know what it is that i want to do i know what it is that i want to put my energy towards is that willpower energy here that i'm being drawn to and it's something within your soul here that wants to be um achieved <sighs> i'm being drawn to one two three energy so that may be significant for you it's very progressive here Let's delve deep. We're going to go into the tarot now and see what it is your higher self wants you to know. I'm really being drawn to the wings here. So it seems as though you are soon to take flight in some kind of way. It's very interesting energy. Wow. Just wow. Eternity here. Pile number one really may be significant for you. I can't make this up. Um, or you're coming from pile number one. I'm being drawn to say, let their love lift you higher here. There's something about your higher self wanting you to let others love lift you higher. This could even, this could even be the love from your ancestors here, the love from your spirit guides, the love from your angels that are surrounding you, letting their love lift you higher in some kind of way. The card itself has two zeros and as well as an infinity symbol on it. So these may be significant for you. It seems as though you are taking these steps towards the sun. You are taking these steps towards um, your divine purpose here. You are taking these steps towards happiness, enlightenment. I'm being drawn to Ten of Cups energy here. As well as Ten of Wands energy. It's like you know you have to take these steps in order to get towards the sun here. Curiosity opens up advanced awareness. I want to read, um, it's a very short scripture. <laughs> I say scripture, but it's very short, whatever this card has to say. And whenever it does come out, I always feel drawn to read it. It says powerful, creative, or spiritual realization. So these are the energies that your higher self wants you to know. Being blessed and inspired by a dream or vision. So this is what this card is speaking on here. Awakening to one's spiritual destiny literally like pile number one may be really significant you can't make this up <laughs> like i would want to say for you pound to go to pile one and come back but i don't even want to make it seem like that you know but this is just something that i'm hearing from your higher self tremendous opportunity in the offing so there's literally an opportunity in the near future for you more so after you've allowed your curiosity to open up here there's an opportunity a tremendous one at that a positive and significant card in any situation is what this says here. So it's like you, you, pile number two, amazing. <laughs> You're amazing. Okay. This is what your higher self wants you to know. It seems as though you have literally been putting in the work. That's why I said that 10 of wands energy of going towards the sun, going towards what it is that you know is right for you. But it seems as though right now, delving deeper into what you know will transform and expand your energies because it seems as though you do know your curiosity that that curiosity energy almost reminds me of like um intuition here curiosity opens up advanced awareness so let's delve deeper what are where are we on time okay i just saw seventeen, eighteen. so that may be significant for you as well i believe that's the star and the moon hmm that's interesting those energies may really be significant you may have a tattoo of literally a star and a moon here let's see what else do we have we have a woman of music wow wow it says loud and more loud the living music floats upon the air there are like little beings like flying around close near the flowers here so um the fae may be significant for you or really even like the mythical realm more so like the dragons the gnomes um things of those nature may really be significant for you maybe delving more within that realm of energy may be significant this may allow you to literally merge with the divine in a different way this may be where your curiosity lies it might be who knows 
but it seems as though you are definitely in this energy of asking maybe possibly why this why that why does this happen why does this happen it gives a very curious vibe here excuse me loud and more loud it gives this energy of like um your calling will be calling you louder and more louder it's not that you are ignoring this energy but it seems as though um the more curious you are the louder and more louder it is for you to want to delve into some kind of energy here but this woman of music is very bold energy this is the queen of wands energy so it's making me literally think because when i was looking at this solar plexus chakra that's what i was getting i was kind of getting this energy of one that is wanting to be bold one that is wanting to be more expressive here with their energy and music could definitely be significant for you pound number two this is something that i'm hearing from your higher soul maybe working with certain musics um maybe fairy tones is also something that i'm hearing or maybe even um listening to music at a lower tone you know something about that seems to be significant not really blasting your ears out that's if you have headphones or something of that nature um very calming music if at all possible here this may be a call to work with frequency music here i'm being drawn to like 528 hertz as an energy maybe even 432 maybe the sulfagio frequency as an energy hmm but yes, this eternity vibe, like something here is definitely like eternal or like because this card comes before the full card in this deck. So it's given like a, a real initiate energy, a real drive here. Something about that seems to be significant. And this could be what it is that your higher self wants you to know. Your curiosity is your drive here. Let's delve deeper wow okay very cute we have solar light upgrade solar plexus chakra inner fire and willpower can you make this up no you cannot i feel as though the sun is really um in your energies as well this is something that your higher self wants you to know the sun and your solar plexus have this strong connection here you may be possibly even you going outside and saying hello to the sun awakens your solar plexus chakra here opens up your solar plexus chakra here possibly even working with mudras seems to be significant maybe even working with yellow flowers eating more yellow foods as well like bananas maybe even lemon energy may be significant for you these are things that i'm hearing from your higher self here this is interesting though because you do have an upgraded energy here like i said i felt as though you were getting like some kind of full system upgrade but truly it's coming maybe possibly from your solar plexus chakra and extending into the rest of your chakras here this is also something that i'm getting from your higher self it's even more interesting the sun has just come out from behind some clouds <laughs> i'm seeing that so that's very interesting i feel like that may be significant for you it seems as though your energy from your higher self is saying that you will soon be seen by plenty of people here this is something that i'm getting when you actually do delve into the curiosity of your own inner fire here you know what lights you up is also something that i'm getting your light is beautiful this is literally something that i'm hearing from your higher self your light is be beautiful like immaculate it's, it's an energy of being like um the way you shine is like it's so and it's for every individual in here with pound number two here with me like the way that you shine it's literally transforming and expanding your soul here and i just heard sirens so that may be significant as well archangel michael may be significant for you hmm uh, there's a healing vibe here as well but we already know your solar plexus is definitely being highlighted here it's come through twice now <laughs> so it's it's come through three times now i don't know i, I this is so crazy <laughs> and it's another three here i'm literally blown away i'm literally blown away i'm literally blown away why like the why are there three cards of your solar plexus showing up here right now three cards 
and what did I say? I said there was something about three here. There's something about an option of three. And then each one of these cards is like the number three. Three, three, three could be significant for you. This is like very abundant energy. It's, it's drawing me into the Empress energy here as well. But your literal solar plexus chakra is getting some kind of upgrade here. Your willpower, your inner fire, what drives you, you know? curiosity opens up advanced awareness this is what your higher self wants you to know they want you to literally delve into these energies that light you up here and your solar plexus chakra is very much so in connection with your soul star chakra here is what i am hearing you are expanding possibly even as we speak is what i'm hearing from your higher self your light literally is very bright here please continue to be within these energies like loud and more loud the living music floats upon the air this is your energy you're loud in a good way here you are seen and it's very interesting here it's like you're some kind of a lightning bolt as well that may be significant you may resonate with these energies Shango may be significant as well. But this is what I'm hearing from your higher self. So here we have one final card. I'm still blown away by how how many solar plexus chakra energies came in. Like the color yellow is so significant for you. Even for the citrine to come through as the, what was selected. Like what? Okay, let's see. Final card here. We have the roof. This is giving a higher perspective kind of energy for me. Hmm. You may possibly be getting some kind of um, opportunity to see something from a higher perspective here. This is what I'm hearing from your higher self. You may even be on a roof right now. <laughs> Please be careful. Um, overhead shelter is what the card says, as well as protective canopy and rooftop views. Whenever I hear that rooftop views, it takes me to an energy of one um, allowing themselves to be like happy in some kind of way. There's literally some kind of higher perspective that you have from other individuals within your energy pile number two. And this is what your higher self wants you to know. And you are very protected and protective possibly as well. You could have cancer within your chart here. Possibly even any water sign. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. very interesting energies here for you pile number two and i almost want to say pile number three because of the threes here 33 could also be significant 33 11 hmm. shall we delve deeper and see what other messages they have for you i said they huh like i said your higher self is in communication with like multiple energies here that are getting you to come into this like curious willpower energy merging with the divine here educating your mind and senses transforming your soul as an energy okay okay where are we with time oh we might have to end it here let's get like one card let's get one card one card one card spirit um where am i being drawn to um it was one of these cards i actually felt like i wanted to get another one from it may have been the Lumerian deck here. Mm. So let's see, what is it that your higher self wants you to know, pile number two? What messages must you hear right now in these times? Let's give a quick shuffle. I don't want these to be too long, pretty much like 25, 28 minutes. Oh, let's see. Look at that. Can we make that up? Can we make it up? No, we can't. Bottom deck. Our ancient future. Interesting energy. Very balanced individual. I'm being drawn to how, like, um, all that you've been through has built you up to who you are today. So it's making me think of, like, right now you've been... You know how the clam has a grit? Or, like, that one piece of grit gets um, put in the clam's mouth and then it turns into a pearl over time? Like, that gives your energy. It seems as though right now... 
your higher self wants you to focus on how you've evolved in some kind of way, how you've transformed. Um, but the card that did come through is card number 17 here. And you do have 16. You have 16 and 17. You have 10, 11. Very progressive energies here for you. You have awakened awareness. And then the air freshener went off. As I said, you have awakened awareness. Your awareness is very, um, like I said, with this rooftop and awakened awareness energy, it's given a two of wands energy. Like, you know how to plan. You know how to... Um, see things from literally a higher perspective especially with this awakened awareness like you see things clearly here that's why i was kind of getting i don't know if i said um the high priestess energy here for you but you literally are very um in tune with your senses here your mind as well it's like you're very even like i said curious about the world around you you have a higher awakened awareness of these energies and like i said delving into these energies will allow you to know so much more about life in general there's definitely something about that from your higher self that wants you to do these things they want you to go towards what makes you light up here you know educate your mind and senses here expand transform you know merge with the divine allow your curiosity to open up this advanced awareness here this awakened awareness boom pile number two boom it's currently 15 16 on the clock you can't make this up I wish I can show you, but it's 15, 16 on the clock. <laughs> well, now it's 15, 17. I mean, 3, 17, but 15, 17. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go. <laughs> Pile number two. These were messages from your higher self. I hope that you enjoy dearly. Um, if you enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like, comment, subscribe, um, share if you feel called to. Um, I love you. You have a very beautiful and authentic and bright soul and energy here allowing yourself to follow your curious mind you know because you have a very awakened awareness here i feel like you will come into many answers here when you allow yourself to literally merge with the divine here and educate your senses i'm gonna actually before we go know that you're very protected as well um i'm gonna like look into um this energy over here um, card number 10 you are in alignment as well know that um it was i wanted to read the um this right here for soul star chakra it says transcendence letting go these may be significant or this is what your higher self wants you to know right now transcendence letting go being filled with divine light you have this solar light upgrade here channeling energy you are a very good channeler here. May it be for the divine or um, the collective, yourself, those in your surroundings. You channel energy very beautifully here. We have karmic records. I was drawn to Akashic records when I heard it, but karmic records may be significant. We have the bridge between the spiritual and the physical realms. This is where your energy is right now. You also have ascension. So very beautiful energy. So look, the healing position says 15 centimeters above the head. So this one is outside of your body here. For a card healing, anywhere just above the head is fine. A kaleidoscope rainbow or a kaleidoscopic rainbow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. All right. I'm out. Hey, pawn number three, if you have chosen this card number 25, Stargate Initiation, or this rainbow floor right here, then this is your reading for what does your higher self want you to know, or what does your higher self want you to know right now? I apologize if you hear anything in the background, <laughs> pawn number three. So let's go ahead and see. The downloaded energies for you number three so what is it that your higher self wanted you to know the card itself says portals power spot and get outdoors so just from that i was already knowing that there were portals within your energy just hearing stargate initiation I'm being drawn to um, Stargate the movie. You may have watched that energy. 
the movie, the show. Well, I feel like it's a show and a movie, you know, energy. Stargate initiation. There seems to be some kind of portal within the um, atmosphere of Gaia herself, like within the air. This is something that I'm being drawn to from your higher self, pile number three. There is some kind of portal in the air. You may have seen this energy. It's something that I'm hearing as well. You are in very close connection with your higher self here, pile number three. Like, it's as if almost your higher self is you almost or your higher self um of course it is i'm saying like in the way that you operate here on the 3d plane compared to that of the 5d or said in higher plane um there is an energy of you understanding these worlds here if not at all you've been going to this world to where your higher self exists um this is an energy that i'm being drawn to here there's something about how you know that what you do here is set reflection of what your higher self is wanting you to do. Something about that seems to be significant here. But it's really like you are in truly connection with your higher self. Your higher self wants you to know this. <laughs> There's something about the magic that you bring as well. There could also be an energy of you've created this portal for yourself as well. Pile number three. There's also some kind of power spot that is outside that your higher self is drawing you towards. This is a very strong like connection that you have. I'm just seeing the interaction between two energies here. It's almost like... um. It's almost as if your higher self is a guide here. Your higher self is a very strong companion for you, your best friend in some kind of way here. Very interesting energies. There is also very calm and serene, but it can also be very funky and happy or like very young energies. It's very beautiful here, very beautiful, very, um, fun to be around is also something I'm being drawn to like that this is something I'm hearing from your higher self but <laughs> your higher self wants you to know that you are very fun to be around here it's almost as if your energy is this portal here maybe you resemble this portal of what is happening in the ethers right now you are the portal is also something that I'm hearing pound number three maybe you are this power spot here but literally if not they want you to go somewhere this is what your higher self wants you to know there's an energy here on the plane of the 3D here. That on the material plane that is wanting you to go somewhere. Okay, let's see. We have Oracle. We have some more Oracle. And then we have some Oracle. Okay, we're going to have some Oracle. And then we got Tarot here. The green card is a Tarot. And then we have some more Oracle. This purple card is Tarot. And we're going to finish off with some oracle here for what it is that your higher self wants you to know right now. Wow. There are definitely portals within your energy, though, and this is very beautiful to see. So what is it that your higher self wants you to know right now? We have card number five, the heart chakra, unfurling back to love here. This could be unfurling back to love of self, love of oneself. Um, experiencing freedom in some kind of way here. This could be the portal that is active at the very moment. This is what your higher self wants you to know. There is a very beautiful energy here of like transformation is also something that I'm hearing. I'm being drawn to like nectar as well. Maybe an energy of um, cross pollination. That may be something as well. Yeah, very freeing energy here, like very freedom oriented. This is something that your higher self wants you to know. Maybe it is soon that you are to experience this freedom here by unfurling back to the love of self. Unfurling back to just love and not operating in the energy of like possibly hate or um, discontent possibly, but just operating in from love here. That seems to be very significant. Let's delve deeper. 
see we have mars with force another five so fives may be significant for you 55 seems to be significant a lot of change is happening here is something done on here a lot of change a lot of um movement as well I'm, I'm not hearing too much of a conflict energy but i can see how there possibly was conflicted energy this is what your higher self wants you to know that there possibly have been conflict but where there was conflict and force there is now love it seems as though you've unfurled back you've went back not back you know but it's like you've allowed yourself to connect more with your heart and not so much with it, what seems to be your base chakra your root chakra energy here seeing where mars is within your natal chart seems to be significant even possibly seeing where mars is currently when you were watching this video may be significant for the energies that you may be feeling here this is what your higher self wants you to know there's something about the god of war as well that may be significant and i'm also hearing thebes like t-h-e-b-e-s i don't know what this is significant about so i'm about to actually search it up and see but these energies could be significant. Mm. Thebes is from Egypt, huh? Let me see, though. I'm just going to put it in Thebes. Thebes is known as the ancient Egyptians as Waset. Okay, it was an ancient Egyptian city. Okay, you know what? Let me just keep looking. Ancient Thebes. What is Thebes? There was in these of Thebes in Egypt, which was actually the capital of the New Kingdom, somewhere in the middle of the mainland. Thebes was the seat of the legendary king Oedipus and the local of most of the ancient Greek tragedies. This is interesting energy. Something about that, I don't know. I just I just heard the word Thebes and I just thought that it may be significant. So let's see, what else do we have? We have infinity here, card number 27 infinity here your higher self wants you to know about something that is going to be infinite for you this could be an energy of the infinite universe this is something that i'm hearing maybe there's a portal that is connecting to this infinite energy here allowing you to be more in connection with infinite possibilities because you are unfriendly back to love here more so in this energy from where you had to operate from force this is probably what activated this portal here this is what i'm hearing from your higher self pile number three so let's delve deeper maps may be significant for you as well like um, google maps or possibly um navigation systems may be significant as well these are things that i'm hearing you may be traveling soon as well if i'm being drawn to these energies but quite literally since you have portals here it's like you're going to be accessing this portal either yeah you are this is what i'm hearing from your higher self you will be accessing this portal here transforming in some kind of way unfurling back to love but you have card number nine clear and activate create sacred space here interesting energy i'm definitely being drawn to how the radios are um operating around this individual here it's making me think of like literal portal energy but really it's just how the energy is coming around this figure here is reminding me of a portal or just how downloaded energy may be coming in towards you because you literally have clear and activate and i feel like this is something that you are either operating in or um this is what your higher self wants you to do because like i said this mars energy this force energy it feels as though it um it like counteracts this unfurling back to love this heart chakra energy that's just how it feels right now so maybe you having to clear away some energies that have felt forceful like conflict energy with this mars here this is definitely something that they want you to clear away so that you can activate this energy you're literally being initiated into some kind of stargate that allows you to experience an infinite quality here possibly of yourself is what i'm hearing let's see what else does your higher self want you to know right now pile number three we're going to go ahead and go into tarot right now Ooh, we have the seven of science here with lamentation okay very interesting energies here i'm being drawn to like um 
facing something here. Someone is facing something. Like, allowing themselves to face something here. Not even with force, but with love. It's something is awesome that I'm hearing. I'm being drawn to go into the deck, actually, and look and see. Where is the deck, actually? I mean, the book. I won't read too much, I promise. I just want to look into it. I mean, even it's 333 right now on the clock, so that may be significant. It's an energy of abundance to me. Could even be speaking on communication. Um, let's look up this word. And see the passionate expression of grief or sorrow, weeping. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So this is interesting energy here weeping here grief and sorrow something possibly has happened and possibly your higher self is here asking you to allow love to be a part of the situation here let's actually look at it though a great deal of psychic energy being unleashed strong resistance to pressure gathering shaping and polishing your ideas feeling burdened with heavy thoughts pushing yourself too hard see that's that force energy refusing to accept the situation wailing over the situation straining against something did not say that or pushing yourself against something when you are feeling stuck or blocked push your imagination to find a way around the problem rely on your energy and hard work so this is definitely what your higher self wants you to be more focused in if that energy resonates with you for ones that are more so in an energy of you know possibly even feeling stuck in some kind of way here so let's move forward and see oh i knew it i, I really i literally knew it as i touched the car i felt like you know what i feel like the sun is about to come out and look here's the sun right here wow wow this is literally saying from your higher self that you're in like you're being transported from this grief and sorrow if you have been feeling it into these qualities of the sun with love here you are literally right now clearing and activating creating sacred space for this sun energy because you know this is what is coming in for you this is what is on the other side of this portal here for you happiness joy vital energy the ability to see all things you know some kind of clarity here very beautiful energy the number seven may be significant as well or the number two the number 19 may also be significant as well as the number 11 these are things that i'm hearing from your higher self so let's delve deeper and see for you what messages does your higher self want you to know right now definitely pile number three getting outdoors is very significant especially seeing this energy of the sun here and it literally says get outdoors this may literally be able to bring you out of this energy if it is what you are feeling here so let's see we have third eye activation here so you have activation initiations clear and activate you're just in this energy of overall um becoming more of who you want to be is literally what i'm hearing from your higher self here file number three okay you have the brow chakra so this is your third eye chakra being highlighted here you have inner vision as well as clear seeing i feel like i just said that with this sun card you getting some kind of clarity here as well as i'm being drawn to like how your own um, third eye chakra is very active here it's not overactive but it's giving a very beautiful energy of understanding what it is that you are meant to do you know what energies are leading you what is guiding you here and this is literally reminding me of that stargate portal that i was seeing in my mind's eye right here so literally you are like in this energy of going towards a new dawn here because even both of these cards have a rising sun here i'm not even being drawn to a setting sun but a rising sun that's interesting i'm in ra or ra may be significant just as an energy hmm you're being definitely initiated into very high vibrational 5d strong energies ones with love things that allow you to see things clearly here portals that will literally be advancing your soul in some kind of way these are things that i'm hearing from your higher soul like the quality of what this portal has for you is very infinite okay infinite possibilities as well almost as 
it's like a wild card energy you choose you know you choose where it is that you want to go through this portal here your higher self is literally here with you in this process as well are angels i'm also being drawn to how there's this energy of you possibly being able to fly without your wings this is an ability as an energy you may have been seeing this within your dreams here astral traveling flying in some kind of way or fashion this is letting you know how connected you are how you have been clearing and activating your own space here so let's delve deeper we have temptation here very interesting energy this is the devil hmm. you know what's interesting i was kind of getting that energy um there could be some kind of external force more so one of a lower vibration that wants to force you into feeling a certain kind of way forcing you into being in a certain kind of energy i'm sorry excuse me and i can see here that your higher self is literally allowing you or wanting you to follow the sun here follow what your heart wants you to do follow your heart literally follow your heart follow your intuition follow your inner vision you know don't allow these other external negative forces to force you to be in this grief sorrow lamentation energy here there's an energy of your higher self wanting you to know your worth in some kind of way here literally clear away this energy of whatever is tempting you to feel some kind of way and activate your heart here activate the sun within yourself this is something that i'm hearing from your higher self pile number three you are literally within this stargate initiation energy here you are of infinite qualities here so okay your final card here is zoo interesting energy it's reminding me of um a lot of people a lot of individuals um really some kind of um attraction to the eyes it literally says wildlife conversation so you could be speaking with um life itself like you could be speaking with the birds you could be speaking with the squirrels um the deer if at all possible there's just this energy that you have in connection with animals here this is something i'm hearing from your higher so okay something about you being very protected as well here hmm. there's some kind of attraction here definitely you may have literally seen something within a dream or you are soon to see some kind of attraction within your dream here that is going to enlighten you bring you into more a love and sun quality energy here pile number three very beautiful you may even want to search up the zoo spiritual something about that is significant i know it's like a jail in some kind of way right because it's like holding up all of them and like creating their own individual habitats for them to feel so let's see i want to look at zoo spiritual significance and then i'm going to go ahead and let you guys out of here because i feel like this is the last message from your higher self okay and it brought me to seeing a zoo in a dream so this might be something that you are seeing um dreaming about a zoo okay represents your general understanding and confinement of your wild behaviors interesting is speaking of one literally um clearing and activating their own energy you know putting things to the side it's a sign of lack of freedom to express yourself and live your life on your terms because someone is in control look at that that could even be what this zoo energy is talking about and right now you're breaking free from that you're allowing all of your infinite energies right now in my mind's eye i'm seeing someone opening the gate to a zoo and then all of them are going out all the animals in the zoo are like unleashing being free having this freedom quality energy just like this dragonfly here you know seeing giraffes do they thing seeing elephants do they thing with no harm you know something about that seems to be significant and i'm going to go ahead and bounce <laughs> pile number three i hope that you enjoy be sure to give the video a like a comment um subscribe if you feel called to go ahead and share as well um i love you dearly so much okay i literally want you to experience i want you to experience this energy of a stargate initiation this is also something that i'm hearing from your higher self 
we want you to experience these portals we want you to experience these infinite qualities of yourself you know this limitless potential energy you know we want to see you in your best light you know with this sun quality here we want you to be free not tempted by others to force you into doing certain things we want you to be in a vibratory energy that you want to be in here so get outdoors you know be a part of these portals here that have been set up by yourself as well as your higher self here so that you can walk away and literally be a part of this infinite quality and not this temptation this force this lamentation energy you have this inner vision of what it is that you want for yourself and it's something that involves this sun quality energy here so clear and activate i love you <laughs> hey pawn number four if you have chosen card number 29 middle earth dragons or this blue tiger's eye then this is your reading for what does your higher self want you to know or what does your higher self want you to know right now <sighs> i'm being drawn to a listening ear like there's an energy of someone listening in or there's an energy of um something about possibly even your prayers are being heard here pile number four this is what your higher self wants you to know right now is that your prayers are being heard which is interesting they put a period right after that so it's making me think that like that's what they want you to know when it comes to that energy is that your prayers are being heard there's something here as well about um you attaining some kind of stripes that are different here it's like these um lessons or these initiations or these transformations activations that you are undergoing here are um coming from a different energy this is just something that i'm hearing from your higher self there is definitely dragons within your energy like you are in very close connection with the dragon realm right now when coming across this reading here pile number four and your higher self wants you to know that these dragons are um very ancient and they've been on the earth and know of this earth and these energies are being transmitted to you so what i'm hearing from your higher self pawn number four those in my pawn number four there's an energy of um as you ground let's actually read let me say that first as you ground your energy these dragons here are providing you with some kind of um activation here some kind of um i'm hearing shamanic energy here but i'm also hearing that possibly you may be working at through this shamanic energy as well working with the elements here um apothecary energy is also something that i'm hearing herbs may be significant um holistic healing may be significant as well um but there's definitely a lot of energies here pertaining to possibly even those around you that may be significant as well. And this is something that I'm being drawn to here. The card itself, though, says mind opening, grounding and shamanic rituals here. So pile number four, um, I was actually being drawn to use this as well because it kind of resembles one of these that are down here. I feel like this may be significant maybe also working with these tower energies may also be something that is significant for you but i can definitely hear that working with crystals as well as um opening up your mind to some kind of energy which is also interesting um because i was working with let me actually light this as well i'm gonna light this candle oh candle interesting so you may be lighting candles as well working with the fire element here i'm going to light this incense as well as I am going to anoint this incense.
with some oils that I made myself. And these energies may be significant for you as well. You may be wanting to delve into these energies of creating your own oils here, creating your own magic here. Something about that seems to be significant. Working your magic. How do you work your magic here, pawn number four? Um, it seems as though as you work your magic, you may even be in connection with what's interesting. You may be in connection with these dragons. The incense that I even just lit, right, that I was literally told to have for this reading. It's a dragon's blood incense. So I'm really getting this energy of love and protection energy coming for you as well. This is what your higher self wants you to know. <sighs> there also may be a significance in working with blue crystals here. But yeah, I did make this um, oil myself here. It's called Summer's Kiss. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look on the inside. It's very interesting. I love it. I love it so much. It's so much like that I put, I put so much intention into that energy. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it so much. Anyway, um, let's actually delve in. Let's delve in and see. Actually, I'll put this here. And put this up here. Let's delve in and see what it is that your higher self wants you to know right now about these dragons here. Because I feel their energy so prominently within this reading. Like they are really helping you as you ground. <laughs> There's like a car outside that's like revving up its engine. Hmm, something about that may be significant here. Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely an energy of them providing you assistance here. This is what your higher self wants you to know. These elder dragons, these ancient dragons, they are definitely giving you some kind of downloads here from the earth, from inner earth energy, because it says middle earth dragons. These dragons understand the earth. They may, be, they may remember you as well. I'm being drawn to like past life energy because these dragons' lifetimes are very long here. This is something that I'm hearing. They are literally sending like some kind of energy straight from the earth to where it is. Each one of them, pile number four's feet are as we speak. There's literally this energy of a dragon doing some kind of like mind opening activation downloaded energy here for you let's actually dive, delve in and see we have this here we're going to start with oracle then we have some more oracle and then we have oracle some more oracle and then we're going to go into tarot with these three cards here i'm sorry if you hear anything in the background as well palm number four and then we have some oracle and then we're going to go into some more tarot here and then this is our final card which is oracle so let's see, what is it that your higher self wants you to know, Pond number four? What is it that you need to know right now when it comes to these energies? We have stepping through here, card number 47. I'm being drawn to how right now you are literally stepping through into like, um, I'm hearing your divine right now as an energy. These dragons are helping you with this energy as well. Your higher self seems to have like strong connections with dragons something about that is so significant like this dragon energy is so prominent They're like it's very strong energy very strength oriented here there's also a significance on your Merkaba, your light body there's also something about how um you traverse outside of this vessel this human vessel quite often here pile number four while doing this energy these middle earth dragons are vibratorily like um upgrading your 3d vessel this is something that i'm hearing from your higher self your vessel gets transformed possibly at night when you sleep possibly pile number four you wake up refreshed and new or you wake up feeling as if the day is different because of these middle earth dragons here because of these different energies providing you with like some kind of mind opening experience here but with this shamanic ritual energy, I really am being drawn to how you yourself may even be indulging in these shamanic practices. 
as in like I said working with the elements here you could also be um, feeling called to go more towards natural things like natural deodorants um, natural wash ups possibly even natural hair um, shampoos or things of that nature or possibly not even using any of those at all who knows maybe even bar soap seems to be significant this is what I'm hearing from your higher self a lot of self care energies so possibly this is what your higher self is probably um, inkling you towards is um, having a more holistic or natural lifestyle here or this is you in general this is what you do let's see let's delve deeper and see we have fifth house here with creativity another 29 which is interesting i'm also hearing that these middle earth dragons here or just these dragons in general are providing you with some type of creativity here they give you some kind of energy of um fun in some kind of way here hmm Whenever I see this, I'm always drawn to theatrical energy. So that may be significant for you. But I'm really dream being drawn to like different emotions here. Like something about water, water and your emotions, not allowing these things to like, I don't know, um, sway you in some kind of way. There's something about possibly even you experiencing different forms of emotions here. You are very in tune with the unseen realm is also something that I'm hearing. You understand these different lifetimes that you've had here on this planet. I'm also being drawn to how your soul itself may have may have traversed to like different galaxies here. Very unique souls here in Palm number four to where the things that you have experienced on the soul level are very different this could be in this could possibly be even why your higher self um wants you to know you have these connections to dragons here like this is a part of your soul blueprint here is also something that i'm hearing these shamanic ties these um dragonic ties energy stuff deeper what do we have we have higher consciousness here card number 30 so that's interesting 29 and 29 are like 11 11 to me so this may even be a message this may even be a wish fulfillment energy here that is coming in for you this is what your higher self wants you to know there could be an energy of you having to breathe in some kind of way as well like slow breath slow breaths conscious breathing seems to also be significant here you know what's even crazier like while i was sitting here like um during the meditation meditative process for your reading I literally was doing this here and then here we have the higher consciousness energy doing almost the exact same energy with the hands so this mudra may even be significant for you I believe it is a mudra for allowing yourself to feel more open we do we do have mind opening here was interesting so mind opening practices seem to be significant possibly through mudras as well um Lumeria seems to be significant, possibly even just crystals as an energy, as well amethyst and fluorite, rainbow fluorite may be significant. So even pile number three may be significant for you as well. But you do have 29 to 30, so I'm also getting this energy of um, as these earth dragons provide you with creativity, you are also accessing higher consciousness as an effect of that. But all of this is ultimately leading you forward here. This is what your higher self wants you to know. As well, know that you are within this higher consciousness state. I'm really being drawn to your heart. And again, I'm being drawn to your Merkaba. So possibly even, um, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but accessing your Merkaba through your heart chakra here. Or allowing your heart chakra to have some influence over your Merkaba as an energy. Let's delve deeper. <laughs> Let's delve deeper and see. Oh, interesting. Before I even delve into this spiritual evolution here, because this is a very beautiful energy. This is your energy. Your higher self wants you to know that you are literally spiritually evolving right now. And you know what's interesting? 
I have said that your heart chakra might have some influence or they want you to have your heart chakra to have some kind of influence over your light body here, your Merkaba, your light ship. The card itself says set your heart free. So I'm not sure if something possibly has happened with your heart chakra to where you can't feel this open energy, this um, unconditional love energy, this energy of um, possibly even going towards what you love, knowing that we are all co connected here seems to be significant. Like heart, mind, body, and soul, we are all connected here in some kind of way. Something about that is significant. Your higher self wants you to know that energy. Um, but here within this higher consciousness card, up here at the top, there's like this blue smoke as well as like this shining bright light. So this may be you, like, and in your surroundings, there's like this blue cloud or like it may even seem as if you are in a cloud when you are accessing this higher consciousness energy. I am being drawn to crowns as well. So it's almost as if in your past lives, which are currently coming on right now is what I'm hearing from your higher self are of your royalty. Like you have had past lifetimes of um, royal lineages to where um, you were a part of certain kingdoms here. Something about that energy seems to be significant. Bound number four. But you definitely have royalty in your blood is something that I'm hearing from your higher self. Within this spiritual evolution energy here is card number 35. So that's like an eight energy. Very expansive, very infin infinite here. Leo could definitely be significant for you because we do have the fifth house even. Wait, that's not really that, is it? I believe so. No, it's not. Is it? Now I'm like losing my mind here I'm like all over the place I think Leo does rule the fifth house yeah 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 everything related to drama theater and acting are to be found here as well <laughs> um, something about you being the son's initiate as well seems to be significant pound number four this is something that I'm hearing from your higher soul. You are the sun's initiate. You are walking towards some kind of light here that may even be found within your soul. Something about that is significant. You are setting your heart free in some kind of way. Following your bliss is also something that I'm hearing. Possibly even following your creativity. Also, I'm hearing you are being led in this direction. You have guides surrounding you. Literally, this is like the second card that has birds flying around the individual here. There's birds here, and then there's birds here. So birds, even butterflies may be significant. There seems to be a strong connection with you and nature here is also something that I'm hearing from your higher self. You may also even be very good at masking your emotions is something that I'm hearing. You are literally spiritually evolving right now, stepping into your creativity, maybe even stepping into your true nature here, which may involve working with the elements, working with nature even. But let's see, let's delve deeper. Let's go into the tarot and see what your higher self wants you to know. We have musing energy. You may even um, come off as this muse in some kind of way here. interesting energy you know it's funny I started to smell like a burning smell for some kind of reason and then this card is even fire here so I'm not sure what that may even mean I definitely was smelling fire here um, or smelling a burnt energy um, the card itself says I wrote my happy songs every child made joy to hear very interesting energy. I'm being drawn to how each individual is wearing something different here. Hmm. I'm also being taken to how possibly each lifetime you've had pound number four, and this is for each individual here for pound number four. Each lifetime you've had prior to this current one here, each one has led you to doing something big this lifetime is something that I'm truly being taken to 
it's like you went through certain things in each lifetime just for this lifetime exactly here then again it says i wrote my happy songs every every child made joy to hear so even still there's something about you being in the spotlight as well for the four of music itself is even um the four of wands here so it's drawing me to like your um your achievements things that you've done in life here in past lifetimes as well you're very well known in spirit here even to set dragons that are working with you already helping you ground your energy wow you're literally about to bloom in some kind of way it's also something that i'm hearing there also may definitely be a significance on music here, music, theater, things of that nature. Hmm, I'm being drawn to like movie energy, like you could be watching some kind of movie or some kind of movie could resemble the energy that you are already in right now. This is what I'm hearing from your higher self. Let's see, what else do we have? We have discontent, interesting energy with the aid of music. This is the eight of fire here. So clouded with discontent and brooding in their minds, terrible things. Whenever, whenever I get this card, I always think about like other individuals here. But the eight of music to me right now is bringing up this eight of wands energy. Things are in the air is also something that I'm hearing from your higher self here. Clouded with discontent and brooding in their minds, terrible things. This could literally be like other individuals, right? But this could also be something about how you can literally see within the other realm here. You can see um, things unseen to man in some kind of way, shape, or form. This could even be within your dreams, pile number four. This is so interesting energy, though. I'm really being drawn to how certain individuals have certain things latched onto them. This is something that you yourself may be able to see here. This is a gift. It's like you can tell when other individuals aren't like being their unique self in some kind of way. Like you know there's some kind of influence on their energy in some kind of way. Like you know certain people are clouded with discontent. And didn't I say that energy? I said that up here with the higher consciousness with the smoke being surrounding the star. Like that kind of reminds me of this energy, clouded with discontent and brooding in their minds, terrible things. Whew. We're gonna delve deeper and see what are the energies that your higher self wants you to know about? What is it that your higher self wants you to know? You are definitely protected from this energy. So let's see, we have Stargate, look at this. We spoke of your heart like multiple times or your heart chakra energy. Stargate heart here. Emerald city energy may be significant for you. Um, or even working with the stone emerald may be significant for your heart chakra too as well. Um, it literally says heart chakra opening here. You have set your heart free for the spiritual evolution as well as you have stepping through you have mind opening. You have so many energies of opening here. And I feel like this is what your higher self wants you to know that these dragons are helping you attune to higher consciousness energy here. Possibly even attune to the 5D in some kind of way. This is what your higher self wants you to know. You are literally unlocking here. Possibly unlocking creativity in certain ways. Unlocking different ways for you to use your magic. Use um, your energy for it to benefit you in some kind of way. You may even have this energy of being able to muse others that are in discontent energy. Like I said, though, with this Emerald City that's here in the background of this car, you definitely come from an energy of a um, kingdom, queendom, um, some kind of, like your energy resembles these energies. You are very royal here. You speak from the heart, come from the heart, things of these nature. Your heart chakra is very um, mastered in some kind of way here. But you have generosity as well. Even you yourself are a very generous soul, you know? The energies are like, even for dragons, 
um, in general, they have a very um, potent energy, a very strong reserve, you know, so I feel like you have this kind of energy as well, like your reserves are very big, very strong, you have a lot of energy to where, yes, you can be generous <laughs> in certain ways, but this grounding energy definitely keeps coming through as in, like, as you ground, these Middle Earth dragons are also attuning with your energy benefiting you in some way towards this spiritual evolution here and this higher consciousness but there's definitely a energy or a need for you to open your chakra open your open your chakra <laughs> open your heart chakra <laughs> this could even be all your chakras here just being in a more receptive energy so let's see let's delve deeper mm, bugs could be significant as well like spiders um ants possibly even snake energy could be significant for you file number four so we have heartache and loss interesting this could even be this could be you or this could even be others that are within this discontent energy i feel like you're very empathic as well pile number four you may be able to really pick up on others energy this is really something that i am hearing from your higher self this is what they want you to know you are this empathic soul here you could even be literally right now unlocking this gift in some kind of way What's interesting is that um, this individual here is wearing a sword on her neck here. I'm being drawn to that energy. It's making me think like you wear your truth on your chest here. This sort of truth, this sort of justice energy. And it's also kind of reminding me, it kind of looks like um, this background is her wings in some kind of way. Not sure how, but it seems as though your wings are like very large, very expansive here. You've had lifetimes as many different energies, pile number four. Um, angelic frequencies are definitely within your energy as well. Maybe in these times of heartache and loss, this is what your um, higher self wants you to know. Maybe even do through this heartache and loss, you've found some kind of way to set your heart free and spiritually evolve here into higher consciousness, which in turn is giving you more creativity. You know, you're literally stepping through something moving past something as well is what i'm hearing from your higher self so let's see what your final card is pile number four for what your higher self wants you to know we have a farm energy hmm a farm so an accumulation of things here not even an accumulation but it's like um i'm hearing big profit but we have agricultural work and that's funny because we have shamanic rituals here. So it's almost like getting your hands dirty in some kind of way. We also have livestock rearing. Hmm. All of these individuals have hats on. Within this card here, the farm card. Hmm. I'm hearing you stand out <clears throat> from the crowd in some kind of way here, pile number four. This is what your higher self wants you to know. It's almost as if um, when it comes to, say, 50 individuals, you would outclass 50 individuals, you being this individual that you are. I don't know why that seems to be significant, but it's almost as if you stand out from the crowd, literally. Um, there's something that you have that others do not hear. And it shows. But this is a very good energy for you here. From This is what your higher self wants you to know. working with um wheat energy may be significant i'm being drawn to literal abundant energy here this may be coming from your spiritual evolution this is what your higher self wants you to know we're definitely going to grab more here and see what comes through i'm actually being drawn to like um this lumeria deck here i want to see what comes through from that i want to see where we are with time as well Okay, 28. We're doing pretty well. Pretty well. Let's go ahead and go into this deck and see what we can get. Hmm. Something is coming, though. Something is coming. And I feel like it has something to do with, like, some kind of material prosperity here. I'm 
actually kind of drawn to grab like maybe um, a few cards of tarot for you. But we will see. I'm not trying to make this too long here. So let's see. What does your higher self want you to know? Pound number four. What messages do you need to know? Do y'all see that? It literally says evolution. Card number 24. You have spiritual evolution here. Now you have evolution. And this is literally in like connection with all of who you were prior and who you are today. Things of that nature are going to be coming online for you. And this is like you have so much help surrounding you, pile number four, like from different realms. It's almost like crazy to see, crazy to experience here. You could really resonate with um, the ocean as an energy. Bottom of the deck, we have star seed elemental, and I was kind of speaking on the elements. So you yourself definitely have this connection with elements, and this is what your higher self wants you to know. So working with these elements and, and incorporating them within your practices seems to be very significant for you, if that you are not already doing these things. But if you are, it is literally evolving your soul, you doing this. I'll shuffle some more. We have 34. 10 could also be significant for you. I'm being drawn to like all the tens in tarot but this card says life force energy like your energy is very beautiful here like your life force energy is very beautiful as well i'm being drawn to say that you are protected as well continue to protect your energy pile number four this is what your higher self wants you to know protecting your energy could be by cleansing your energy with sage or it could even be by wearing protective amulets and things of that nature but I was being drawn to this deck here <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and give her a nice little shuffle and we're gonna see what comes through for what it is your higher self wants you to know higher self want them to know we have the eight of swords here and it flew over with the heartache and loss so this is definitely an energy of what is leaving here another eight and it's strength here so they definitely want you to have strength the air freshener went off when i did say that so there's definitely an energy of you having strength in these times of heartache and loss as well as like even possibly being within your head too much a lot of like um mental energy here look at this it's a shift here there's a shift going to happen from all of this. From all of this, there's going to be a shift. And I'm also hearing that um, when this shift does occur, it's almost as if you won't have much control within this energy. It's almost going to be like your higher self has taken the wheel. You know, source of the divine has taken the wheel. You yourself may be an Aquarius, a Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo here. Anubis may be significant for you here. Bottom deck, we have the Hermit. You've possibly come to these energies after delving within your own soul, doing some shadow work, possibly. Here's a 10 here. So I love that energy. Another 10. So 10, 10, 9 to 10. Let's get some more energy. I'm only getting like, like one more card here. And then we're going to go ahead and let you go. I have the two of pentacles and five of pentacles. Both of these speak on change energy. And that's what I'm being drawn to say. So you have like three cards of change from some kind of loss here the king of swords is at the bottom of the deck here that may be significant air sign energy i'm being drawn to aquarius here what do we have spirit we have the eight of cups so another eight 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 may be significant for you but we do have eight nine ten for what actually came out for you in tarot here bottom of the deck we have judgment this is a literal cosmic upgrade for you and there's an energy of literally you leaving something behind and coming into your strength this is what your higher self wants you to know they also want you to not think too hard about certain things if you are feeling anxious in some kind of way here they want you to have strength right now i know it's easier said than done but Right now, they want you to have strength, if not find time to be within your own energies, you know, set your heart free here, release what no longer serves you, know that you are literally being given higher vibrational 5D energy from dragons here to access some kind of higher consciousness from this energy, you will spiritually evolve here. And I'm hearing this is happening quickly. This is happening for you, not to you as an energy. 
So I feel like that's all that I have to tell you from your higher self. It seems as though you're taking steps towards what you know is meant for you here. Some kind of call is calling you into some kind of higher vibration here. And I'm hearing you're answering it with this Knight of Wands here. I'm being drawn to like impulsive energy as well. But yes, Paul, number four, this is all that I have for you when it comes to what your higher self wants you to know. I hope that you enjoy. Be sure to give the video a like, comment, share, subscribe if you feel called to. Um, I truly do appreciate it. I love you so much. And you are so protected within this energy. Okay? You literally have ancient dragons. I'm hearing like three of them three ancient dragons but it could literally be more literally there could be so many dragons around here but you're literally evolving right now and you're shifting into a beautiful energy i'm going to look up 888 for you because i know that's just immaculate like i know it's a good angel number but it's definitely meant for you and this is what i'm hearing from your higher self look abundance and prosperity <laughs> 888 is strongly associated with abundance, prosperity, and financial success. It's a sign that the universe is aligning to bring material rewards and blessings into your life. Speak it into existence. Because this is so true right here. And it's from all that you have been through, you know. But it seems as though you have to ground yourself. Be open to these new energies. To this higher consciousness, you know. Unlock your heart. Set your heart free. Yes. I love you. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and bounce out before this ends up being too long. Boo-doo.